Do you want to lock the bootloader on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can lock the bootloader on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. Do note this process is irreversible. Once you lock your bootloader, you cannot unlock it back again because people have reported having issues doing that. Also note this process will factory reset your device. So make sure you have a backup of all your important data. In this process, I'm going to use Twerp Recovery and a computer to lock the bootloader on your phone. If you don't want to use Twerp Recovery, you can go ahead and follow my tutorial on how to install factory firmware on the Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. And in the end, just go ahead and choose flash all and lock option, which will flash the factory firmware on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone and also lock the bootloader. The first thing which you need to do is go ahead and download the latest stable ROM for your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. The link is in the description of the video. Go ahead and click on this guy over here, which says stable ROM and download the zip file. You will also require the latest version of ADB and Fastboot installed on your computer, Mac or Linux machine. Those are also linked in the description of the video. Go ahead and download the zip file for your operating system and then extract it. Once you have downloaded the factory firmware zip file, go ahead and turn off your device. And now we need to go ahead and boot into Twerp Recovery. To boot into Twerp Recovery on the Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. Once you've turned it off, press and hold the volume up button and then press and hold the power button at the same time till you see the Twerp Recovery logo on your Poco F1 screen. Once on the Twerp Recovery home screen, go ahead and click on install. Now you need to navigate to the folder or select the folder where you have the factory firmware zip file. In my case, it is in the download folder. I'll go ahead and click on download over here. And now you need to select that specific zip file in my case it is this guy over here i'll go ahead and select it and then swipe to confirm the flash this process will take some time so you have to be patient go grab a cup of tea or coffee or anything you want once this process is complete i'll be back all right youtube as you can see the process is now complete go ahead and click on the home button over here go ahead and click on wipe go ahead and click on format data and over here go ahead and type in yes do note this is where we're going to factory reset your device make sure you have packed up everything once you've typed in yes go ahead and click on the enter key over here on the keyboard once this is done go ahead and click on reboot system the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient all right youtube we've successfully booted back into miui if i go ahead and click on settings over here then go ahead and go into about phone you can clearly see that i am on miui 10 stable version the next thing which we're going to do is we'll go ahead and check what recovery we have so we'll go ahead and turn off our device once our device is turned off we'll go ahead and press and hold the volume up button and at the same time press and hold the power button as you can see we have booted into stock miui recovery which means we are on a stock system and on a stock recovery at this point we need to go ahead and boot our phone into fast boot mode and then connect it to the computer on this screen, go ahead and highlight the reboot option using the volume rockers and then press the power button to select it. Press on power button one more time to reboot into system. Once you are back into MIUI, go ahead and press the power button to turn off your device. Once you have turned your device off, go ahead and press and hold the volume down button and at the same time press and hold the power button and you will boot into fast boot mode. At this point, go ahead and connect your phone to the computer. Once you've connected your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone to the computer, Mac and Linux users need to open terminal and Windows users can open command prompt or PowerShell. Then you need to navigate to the folder where you've downloaded ADB and Fastboot. In my case, it is a folder on the desktop. And then you need to go ahead and check whether your device is being detected in Fastboot mode or not. The command for that is Fastboot devices. Terminal and PowerShell users need to enter dot slash before the command. Command prompt users can go ahead and skip the dot slash and then go ahead and press enter. And there, as you can see, my device is being detected in fast boot mode. The next command which we're going to use is going to go ahead and lock the bootloader on the Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. And that command is fast boot OEM lock. Once you have entered the command, go ahead and press enter over here. 
and there as you can see our Xiaomi Poco F1 phone just rebooted and it will erase everything as well and do another factory reset and the unlocked sign on the bottom of the phone is no longer there which means we have successfully locked the bootloader on the Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. That's it for this video YouTube. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.